Yep, and it's a pickup truck, and originally, possibly, we're still working on it, they ran a stop sign. San Fernando PD, they're the original ones behind it. They still are behind it. We were on Glen Oaks. Bledsoe, or eastbound Bledsoe from Glen Oaks. Sorry about that pause right there. Now, LAPD, they have the helicopter overhead. They're assisting San Fernando PD. Speeds at one point on in the residential area, 60 miles an hour. That is extremely fast for any type of street, especially at, at night on a residential road. Right now, those speeds have slowed down just a little bit. San Fernando PD, they just want this guy to pull over. Right now, he's been running through a lot of, uh, lot of stop signs. The road he's on, though, I can tell you right now, will take him over by the 210. There's no on-ramp for the 210, though. This started in the San Fernando City, the city of San Fernando, now well-established into the Silmar area. Truck's starting to slow down, hands coming out of the car, but this pursuit, not over till that guy's got cuffs on his wrist. Well, you know, the, all the all he's really wanted for right now is possibly it was a traffic violation, and then of course there's plenty more being added on as this to just continues running a lot of stop signs. That San Fernando PD unit getting very very close to the pickup truck. I did hear the words about pursuit intervention possibly, but not clear about San Fernando's uh, tactics. Oh, very, very close, got to a car there. It looked like he was coming out of a driveway. It was very tight. I saw it was underneath the tree. Now, that uh, pickup truck got a little bit of distance, but you can see San Fernando PD right back up against, uh, up right over to the bumper almost. Right now, though, making another major turn. We'll get you the name of that street. Southbound on Foothill, so definitely in the Silmar area right now. He's making his way, just kind of weaving around. No particular place to go. Uh, it's LAPD overhead. They're the ones with the light. They're the ones basically calling out a lot of the streets. San Fernando, that's where it started. City of San Fernando. They have their own police department. Uh, we definitely are in the LAPD area right now, but San Fernando, they haven't released it. Westbound on Polk from Foothill. And uh, just a real sharp turn there. Truck really starting to speed up now. If we thought there was problems, it, he's showing that there aren't. Lights seem to have been going off, turned off too. I don't think that's going to make any difference, especially with that helicopter overhead. Uh, but LAP, I'm uh, sorry, the San Fernando PD just coming out right back up behind it right now. And they're going to use their lights and sirens to warn the public this pursuit's coming their way. Uh, you know, the pickup truck's got those light rear ends, but I'm not sure what the what their uh, what their policy is. San Fernando PD, and maybe they just don't have a pit maneuver policy. So they we might not see something like that. We might just be watching this as it, as it just goes and goes and goes. Uh, you are correct, though. That is an SUV, probably one of the new Ford Explorers, uh, coming up on Glen Oaks again, making another turn on Glen Oaks. Uh, the the car slowing down. They are concerned, southbound Glen Oaks, they are concerned uh, about the, uh, the agitation of the driver. Apparently moving around a lot in the vehicle, officers don't like to see that. Uh, reaching for things, moving things around inside the car. Nobody has said anything about a gun, there hasn't been any, but officers are paying attention to what he's doing inside the cab of that truck. And when he's doing a lot of a lot of movements like that, that really keeps those officers on their toes. And this is the problem. We don't know why he's running. And officers, they, we're just watching this. But the officers, they are involved. And when this comes to an end, you know, wh why is he running? He just ran a stop sign. So all those things, that'll come out in the wash later on. Right now, though, just continuing on. He got lucky there. He got a green light. But the chase continues, the, the helicopter, that's LAPD working with San Fernando PD, kind of working its way back to the city of San Fernando, still in, uh, in the Silmar area, right now on Glen Oaks, <coughs> and, and approaching Hubbard, 
Looks like he's starting to set up for a turn. Westbound on Hubbard. Westbound on Hubbard. Gonna say we're high. Well, actually, we're probably getting into San Fernando. We've been uh, we've been southbound on Hubbard for a little bit. I know we just crossed uh, San Fer uh, San Fernando Road itself. So. Probably, if, if we're not, I don't know exactly where. Oh, you know what I can tell by the street signs? We're still in the L.A. city, so I would call this still Silmar area. But uh, right now, they're still, it's just still moving. And, you know, San Fernando PD, they haven't given it up, they, meaning they haven't said uh, LAPD take it over. Uh, this, they, want the, they want this guy. Uh, it's happened inside their jurisdiction, inside their city. And uh, now they want, to, they want to take this guy into custody. Uh, he basically ran plenty of stop signs. Got a, approaching Laurel Canyon right now. Looks like he's set, setting up for a southbound turn on Laurel Canyon. That's going to take us into the Pacoima area if they keeps going this way. This uh, Laurel Canyon a little bit busier out here in this area, especially right next to the freeways out here. You got the five, the 118, all uh, all kind of bunched up. Southbound Laurel Canyon from Hubbard, and it just keeps on going. Uh, San Fernando PD, they've got a number of officers behind them there. Uh, we do know that one of their supervisors has joined the chase. I'm not sure if he's in the lead car or just one of the cars, but that's somebody that's going to keep track, make sure that the rest of the officers are following all the rules. But take a look at how, how much traffic's out here right now as we're getting back, back onto these major roads. That's where we were on Laurel Canyon, <coughs> on Rinaldi right now. Don't know if there's an on-ramp, but I can tell you right there, that was the 5 freeway that he just passed under. Uh, hasn't seen any freeway action for, since it's been going on. Uh, definitely not in the city of San Fernando, uh, as we're on Rinaldi right now. Probably going to be more like the Mission Hills area. Uh, I know if we keep on going this direction, uh, sooner than later, we're going to have the option for the 405 freeway and Sepulveda Boulevard. But Rinaldi, that'll take you all the way out to uh, Simi. Uh, <coughs> Right now, it's westbound Rinaldi. Speeds are picking up. San Fernando PD in pursuit. Original want, possibly just uh, running a stop sign, but definitely failure to yield the pursuit situation. Looks like we're setting up. Sepulveda, to southbound Sepulveda, South Mission Hills. You know, we don't, and, it, you know, it, 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 we we get a lot of uh, interaction with a lot of the law enforcement agencies out here. Uh, the San Fernando PD, it's, it, I don't know why, but we just don't talk to them. It's a smaller department, 
and it's a and it's a very small town type of place. San Fernando, nice place to live. Uh, but right now, I can tell you, Sepulveda Boulevard, Mission Hills. Uh, I think I just missed it. I wanted to show you. We just went by Mission Division of LAPD. So uh, this chase went right by an LAPD police station, southbound Sepulveda, Mission Hills. The next uh, opportunity they're going to be getting there, sorry, I don't know why I'm stuttering, is going to be the 118. Uh, if he gets on the freeway, they might, ch they might hand this off to uh, California Highway Patrol. Right now, though, they are starting some discussions on how they're going to bring this thing to an end as they are far from their, their city. Uh, right now, just going underneath the 118 freeway right there as it's continuing southbound, Sepulveda Boulevard. If he keeps on going, we're going to be in the, in the other hills, Granada Hills, uh, North Hills. Right now, though, he seems to be on a wide road that uh, has light traffic. He's not running any red lights at this time, but we've seen him running them in the, in the past. And a bigger street like this means more traffic, and more traffic means more danger. Uh, the PD, the helicopter, that's going to be LAPD's uh, Police 16 overhead providing the light and calling out the street names for a lot of these officers. They have uh, a way to talk to each other, even though they're different agencies. All the law enforcement in Los Angeles and, and California, actually, they have that ability that they can uh, have their other or the neighboring uh, police uh, police agencies, they have the ability to talk to them, and that's what they're doing right now. Slowing down a little bit as I believe you're approaching Devonshire, and the reason why, a lot of traffic there, even pedestrians, uh, but the truck moving pretty slow. It's a pretty interesting night for those, uh, those young folk right there as they are getting out of the way of a police pursuit today. Uh, it, passing Devonshire and uh, continuing southbound, <clears throat> I would guess that we're uh, in the Granada Hills area right now. Well, we've seen it in the past. Uh, you know, they, they'll start out what, in like the Inland Empire and they'll move back and forth. Cali it's usually the California Highway Patrol because the suspects, they get on our freeways. Uh, California, you gotta love our freeways. Even the bad guys love our freeways. And so they'll get, onto the, they'll get on the freeway. California Highway Patrol, usually the one they hand it off to. Sometimes, sometimes uh, one of the units from the original uh, where it started will basically tag along and just be there for paperwork reasons, or perhaps take the, uh, the suspect into custody and back to the original place. It really all depends on the situation and what the policies are and maybe what the original want was. I'm not that familiar with San Fernando PD. Like I said, they're a smaller agency. Uh, nice, nice stuff. They got uh, up-to-date equipment, well-trained officers. Uh, but uh, as far as what their policies are, we don't, we don't have that much interaction with them, so we don't see them in action that often. Uh, right now, though, as we're passing Plummer, uh, we're going to be getting into the North Hills area, but uh, there's been no talk about handing this off to LAPD and or any other agencies right now. They want to pull this guy over, uh, and they've been talking. They're talking about right now possibly what the original want was, and maybe they're, maybe they're going to go into a tracking mode or hand it off to LAPD. Uh, but right now, no talk of a pit, and uh, they are just following, keeping those lights and sirens on, keeping the public aware as we're traveling southbound on Sepulveda. And, uh, you know, it's every time we get to any one of these major intersections, I think the next one's going to be Nordoff up here. Uh, every time they come to one of these major intersections, it's that dangerous moment. You see the uh, cars, see a pedestrian uh, right there uh, as, as we pass Nordoff. And, uh, it, and it, the pursuit just continues. And this is, this is the reason why they want some sort of officers behind it. Lights and sirens, that's going to get people's attention. Uh, and uh, right now, that's what they need to do. But the car, just a little, little faster than what the speed limit is right now. But definitely evading officers, running occasional red lights, very dangerous situation. Could end very dangerously and uh, very poorly uh, if, if, in just a blink of an eye.
Roscoe. Definitely. Coming up on Lanark. Yep, Van Nuys. <clears throat> well, we just heard about the driver earlier on. I'm just going to try to get Timmy's uh, uh, attention. And we'll try, we'll, we'll try to move the helicopter around a little bit, try to take a peek inside the window. does appear to be a male driver. Uh, earlier on, we did see him waving his hands around and et cetera. Uh, right now, though, as far as this chase is going, and it just continues to go as uh, we're moving our way well, well established into the Van Nuys area, Sherman Way is going to be coming up here shortly. Uh, running a couple red lights. We've seen a couple of, one, at least one serious close call with a uh, pedestrian. But... Uh, there may be some interagency, that's a fancy word for saying the LAPD might be helping San Fernando PD to bring this to an end. Uh, but how they're going to do it, well, we're going to watch and find out because maybe it just might not happen. But uh, right now, though, we're going to we move the uh, helicopter around Sky 9 a little bit better, and we're going to get a tighter shot there. But you can kind of sort of see the uh, driver coming up here on Sherman Way. It looks like he's going to be in the center lane, so he's not going to be uh, making any kind of turns. And you know what? It's, I gotta say, there, no, it looks like it's just one person inside the vehicle. Or, or it, I'm not really sure. Maybe you got a better look inside there. Maybe there are two people inside. Yeah. yeah. Landing lights, thank you. It's a dog. It's a dog. It's a dog. <clears throat> it's a dog. It's a dog. Well, you know, that, what you're seeing right there, those flashes, that's going to be one of those automated systems uh, that's uh, taking pictures of license plates. But uh, you know what? That's one of the least of his problems right now. Uh, coming to a uh, stop at a, what, a, what a guess was a green light right there. Uh, just going through Oxnard, just passing Oxnard right now. Just went through Oxnard, southbound on Sepulveda Boulevard. A man and his dog in a police pursuit this evening. And, uh, it, you know, it, it, right now it's, it's kind of almost, you know, I'm sure there's a lot of animal lovers out there worried about the dog. I got to say, you know, you just can't predict what a dog will do at the end of a chase. And uh, you don't know what officers uh, are going to do, and that does worry me. 
Uh, right now, though, the dog is safely in the uh, passenger side of this uh, Nissan pickup truck. This pursuit started in the uh, San Fr city of San Fernando earlier this evening. We're hearing possibly ran a red light. Uh, if it was just that simple, he just would have pulled over. Gosh only knows. But uh, for some reason, the driver decides we're gonna, he's going to take it, and he's just going to go. Many more, uh, many more red lights and many more stop signs have been run this evening, along with many other charges of felony evading, probably one of those charges. San Fernando PD has not relinquished this pursuit or given it to any of the other cities that we've driven through. Uh, basically, that's going to be LAPD's uh, jurisdiction. LAPD definitely assisting uh, this evening, though. They are out here. They're uh, being the helicopter up. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Oh. Uh. We pa we passed it. Yep. Yep. Right by the Galleria. Up oh, there's a dog. There's a dog. Dog's checking out the officers. Yep. Yeah. Yep. Oh, most definitely, and uh, that, that talk has been going on. Looks like we might be seeing the freeway for the first time right now. Uh, making that turn, looks like he, he chose the 405, not the 101. I think it's the 405, and here we go. Northbound 405 freeway is what he picked right there. He had an opportunity for the 101. Don't, yeah, you, you're 100% you're right on that, Lena. Uh, right now, they're, and right off the bat, first things we're hearing is notify CHP. Uh, so th I don't know if that notification is just to let them know that, hey, we got a chase on your freeway, or perhaps uh, they might want to jump in and take, uh, take part, of, part, part of this. Uh, right now, though, we know there's the dog in there. We saw him looking out that back window. That might be some of the agitation that we've been seeing with the driver earlier on. Perhaps maybe he's been moving that dog around uh, inside, the, uh, inside the cab. Maybe that's the reason why he's been moving around in there like that. Right now, though, uh, freeway, a little better than freeway speeds, northbound on the 405. Uh, traffic light at this point. By the time we get over to Sherman Way and uh, Van Owen, it does, it's at that typical bunching up right there because of the turns. But nothing, nothing that's going to be, that's going to bring this thing to a stop. Uh, the, now it seems that like we're going back to where it started. We've seen this in the past, but gosh only knows. Uh, <coughs> this is... Uh, this is, continues on. Right now, California Highway Patrol have been advised that there is a chase going on on their freeway. San Fernando PD, they're the ones, lights and sirens behind it. And then, of course, uh, LAPD uh, being very helpful this evening, uh, talking to the officers on the ground, working with coordination. And it, that's going to be the LAPD helicopter. That's the light we're seeing right there. So law enforcement, they're doing their thing. The, uh, all the stuff that they train for seems to be and set up for seems to be working well this evening. But that suspect just continues to be driving along out here just a little bit faster than, uh, than the roads uh, should, uh, a little faster than you should. And uh, officers continue to be chasing them there as we work our way northbound on the 405 freeway, we're basically approaching Van Owen. OK. 
go. Let's uh, get a little bit more over it, or 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 something. The trees, are, it's going to continue all the way up. Keep going. Let's let's correct that. Well, you know, it's going to be pretty simple for him, pretty straight shot. He's got plenty of options. He could take the 405 all the way back up to the Rinaldi and just basically backtrack how he, how he got to Sepulveda, or he could take the 118 or the 5. Uh, there's so many different, uh, different ways that he could go to get back to the area where he started. Uh, right now, though, the vehicle, as you can see it, passing other cars down there, probably going about, uh, let me t I'll try to do some math here and figure this stuff out. Um, <clears throat> probably going about 60 miles an hour, 70, 70 miles an hour right now. Uh, but <clears throat> that car, that truck just continues to go. All they want th this guy to do is pull over. Uh, th the helicopter overhead still calling it out. California Highway Patrol advised of the situation. Uh, looking out the window, can tell you if we haven't got there, we're going to be at Roscoe Boulevard here in just a moment, back in the Van Nuys area, like you said. Uh, the original want running a stop sign, at least that's what we're hearing. Uh, now he's got felony evading, and gosh only knows what else. Uh, what the But that's w the reason why officers in these type of situations always have that extra layer of why. Uh, why is this guy running? Is he a wanted felon? Does he have a weapon on uh, in the vehicle? These are all possibilities. Other possibilities, maybe just inebriated. Maybe he's just, uh, maybe warrants. But... That all these things, as innocent as they may be, could be also be just as sinister. And so officers always have to ca you know, err on the side of caution. And right now, that's what they're doing. Add in a dog, looks like a German Shepherd in, inside that vehicle as well. <clears throat> it, it adds, you know, for me at least, uh, just a, a layer of worry. Uh, you have that animal inside there, a pet. Uh, that uh, may try to defend, gosh, you know, when this thing comes to an end, I'm just hoping that the dog is going to be okay, uh, which is an odd thing, too, because, you know, human life is always probably more important. But right now, <clears throat> they, they, this just continues. Uh, we're coming up on Nordoff right now. I just heard him talk about it. And uh, possibly, possibly, California Highway Patrol is going to be taking this over but uh, San Fernando PD is going to stick around to uh, be there when this comes to an end. What's up? All right. Uh, and probably North Hills.
118. Well, you were just getting that 118 option coming up right now, and I guess the uh, California Highway Patrol was uh, just uh, just holding traffic, as I as I understood it. Uh, I thought maybe they were going to take it over or get involved. Looks like uh, we are just going to be riding. Nope, not going to take the 118. We're going to stay on the northbound 405. Uh, so we p passed Devonshire right now, but we're coming up on the 118. And the next option, I think, is going to be uh, the Rinaldi off-ramp uh, if he takes our San Fernando uh, uh, Mission Road. So <coughs> so he's way over on, on the right-hand side. So he might be thinking about possibly getting off the freeway. Uh, but uh, if he does, that's going to be San Fernando Mission Road. It's a straight shot right back into the city of San Fernando. But uh, if he stays on the freeway, he's got plenty of options. He was up uh, in the Silmar area earlier on. He was on Roxford, so maybe he's going to. Maybe that's what it is. But it does seem like uh, we're going to be getting off the freeway now. This is going to be Mission uh, San Fernando Mission Boulevard. <coughs> San Fernando Mission Boulevard. San Fernando Mission Boulevard. Yep, and Back on Sepulveda, southbound Sepulveda. <coughs> southbound Sepulveda, southbound, we're at southbound Sepulveda Boulevard. That's going to be the 118 freeway right there. Uh, we're working our way back over towards uh, San Fernando Mission. Uh, I'm sorry. <laughs> we're working our way southbound right now. It, we're going to be in the Mission Hills area. There you go, just crossing the uh, <coughs> through Chatsworth. That was what I was that was what I was trying to grab at. Uh, so working this way, it's kind of slowing down. And you're right. You know, it, a lot of these officers, a lot of these uh, law enforcement agencies, they have a criteria basically. Uh, how they can pit, what they can pit, and when. And it's not just about speed and safety, but what 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 are they chasing this guy for? Is he armed and dangerous? How dangerous is he to the public? And possibly, possibly, I like I said, I don't really know. Possibly, this is going to be a deal where it just doesn't meet their criteria. So uh, the supervisor that's involved is saying, no, we can't, we cannot pit this person because of uh, the, the criteria that we have set up. Right now, though, back through uh, the Devonshire <coughs> and uh, southbound on Sepulveda. We were here earlier on. San Fernando PD, still the lead agency right behind it. Uh, the helicopter still going to be LAPD. Uh, they are working with the LAPD in the area. But uh, are, they, are they actually taking any uh, actions right now? We don't really know. Looks like we're doing a turn here, making down of those U-turns. So we're going to be going northbound. You got all the law enforcement right there in the shot. You got the helicopter and all those officers. Go ahead. Oh, we do? Okay. No problem. We are, we are on five, on 
five, on five. Letting you guys know we have about an hour's worth of fuel. I know I can do the math, that takes us to the end of the show, but we have an hour's worth of fuel. CBS, I'm on CBS, I'm on CBS, I'm on CBS. Back, th back through Satsworth. And we just passed Paul's Tavern. And I'm saying that for my friends on the uh, internet because I got a few minutes to chat with y'all. Hey, you know what? This is one of those ones where, y you know, y you kind of want to throw some goofy stuff out there, but you just got to be worried. I just don't know what that dog's going to do. I don't know what those officers are going to do. Ten seconds of CBS, so I got they're basically saying, you know what? Go to work, Stu. Anyway, guys, keep listening. You know, we love the love. I wish I could read it. Been busy. Stand by. Stand by for CBS. Well, that's what we're hearing. Driver ran a stop sign. He could have brought this thing to an end so so early, so long ago, but he chose not to. Sins happened in the city of San Fernando. Now, if you don't know, the city of San Fernando actually has their own uh, poli police department. You can see their officers right there. They have been behind it since it, it started. Earlier on, some of these uh, some of these speeds were up to 60 miles an hour in residential neighborhoods out there uh, in the Silmar area, out by Pacoima. And right now, though, we're in the I'm, got a, I'm guessing here, this is going to be the Mission Hills area, Mission Hills area, northbound on Sepulveda Boulevard. We worked our way all the way down to Sherman Oaks, got on the freeway, got off the freeway. Now we're back heading towards, I guess we're coming up on Rinaldi, northbound, excuse me, eastbound on Rinaldi. So basically it looks like we're heading back towards where this started. Now, there's uh, an interesting layer to this whole thing. There's a German Shepherd in that truck with that driver. Now, that dog has made an appearance through that rear window at least once. Uh, officers from, uh, from, the, uh, from San Fernando PD, they're chasing the suspect, but that dog is in there. And you just got to be worried when this thing comes to an end, if it comes to an end even peacefully, when those doors open up, that dog might take off. So you've got to worry about that animal. And then, of course, how those officers are going to handle that situation. Right now, though, we're in the Mission Hills area on Rinaldi, basically heading back towards the uh, Silmar area and the city of San Fernando where this all started. One driver, one dog, a number of officers, and LAPD overhead, basically calling out the streets. San Fernando's been carrying this pretty much all the way through. Uh, LAPD has been in an assisting type of uh, role. We haven't actually seen any of the officers get out there and do anything physically, but they've been in the area just in case it comes to an end. Basically, uh, uh, stopping some traffic at some of the intersections, making another turn right now. Looks like we're going to be on Laurel Canyon from Rinaldi. Um, <coughs> the, the officers that, and then uh, CHP, they were basically, we're in the Silmar area right now. The officers from CHP, they were holding traffic a couple of times uh, on the on-ramps, basically to give a little bit more room for the San Fernando PD to, uh, to do what they need to do. Right now, though, basically they've just been in a r pursuit mode, following behind this vehicle, keeping eyes on it. We saw them get very close at one point, thought maybe a pit maneuver, but in the end, it was just kind of a, taking a look and seeing what was going on in there. Right now, though, I can tell you this is pretty much the neighborhood where this started. Earlier on, eastbound Hubbard from Laurel Canyon. A uh, little slower speeds, but nevertheless, still a pursuit. You know, I don't know what their uh, policies are for uh, San Fernando PD. Some some agencies uh, actually just do not pit. They are they do not feel that it's a safe type of a way to bring this bring a pursuit to an end, and they just won't do it. 
uh, there's a criteria. I, I heard him talking about that earlier on. Perhaps this does not meet their criteria. I do know that a supervisor is actually one of the vehicles that is in this pursuit. Uh, you can see a number of the officers down there from San Fernando PD. One of them is actually a supervisor, keeping track of what's going on, making sure that their officers are obeying their rules. Uh, right now, though, another green light, but he's making a turn here on San Fernando. That's the first time I saw him do something a little tricky. The rear end kicked out there, uh, but he's not going to get away. Uh, the helicopter is overhead. Officers are right behind him. He is picking up a little bit of speed as he got back on San Fernando, and we are back in the city of San Fernando. And we haven't heard about any collisions, haven't heard that this vehicle has made contact with any other cars or any other things during this pursuit. We do know that one of the headlights is out, um, but don't know if that has any bearing on what is exactly going on out here tonight. Um, southbound on San Fernando, in a, in a turn lane there, decided to go straight. I think we just passed through McClay. Uh, th that what we just saw fly through the, uh, the shot right there, that's going to be the LAPD helicopter. They're the one providing the light. We're basically right in the city of San Fernando, and if I know the area well enough, we are right by the police station uh, for, the, for San Fernando PD. We've seen it in the past where these uh, bad guys have basically uh, uh, just go back to the uh, police station. I, I just understood that we made a turn eastbound on uh, on McClay, so we are on McClay right now. i got to correct that. Uh, right now, though, San Fernando PD still right behind it. Uh, this pursuit, a man and his dog in a pickup truck, uh, but uh, this is not one of these uh, situations that uh, we should take very lightly. This guy has been running a lot of stop signs. He's been running a lot of red lights. We saw a couple of close calls with uh, pedestrians as well. Uh, right now, though, we're uh, on McClay. A little bit, I know that in that area, the speed limit is very low, probably about 15, 20 miles an hour. So it's, he is speeding again. But felony evading is what they're going to hit him up with for sure. And then whatever else, for whatever the reason why he didn't stop, is he have warrants? There might, there might be a lot more to this that we don't know. And that's what the officers have to contend with and think about as well. Most definitely, it, it, it very much, it, it does very much, and, and it, we know from an earlier story today that officers are trained to identify and deal with that situation. Uh, if she's calling and talking to the officers from San Fernando PD about this, uh, southbound Glen Oaks from McClay, that's the turn we just made right there. Uh, if she's making these calls, I'm sure the officers are going to do what they need to do to confirm, deny or uh, what, whatever, it's, it's just more information for their arsenal how they're going to handle this when it comes to an end. Running another red light there. Haven't even seen the brake lights come on on the truck in a while. So this car just driving along out here this evening. Officers from San Fernando PD in tow. Lights and sirens trying to warn the public. Luckily, these streets that we're on right now, not as busy as some of what we've seen earlier tonight, even though it's a Friday night. Uh, de with P Pacoima, I was just going to say, I think we're just entering the Pacoima area. Uh, it is a Friday night, but these streets out here, these are going to be more of the industrial area, so hopefully we'll see less vehicles, and hopefully this guy will just come to his senses and just pull over.
Uh, you you got to wonder, maybe the dog has got more common sense than the driver does right now, or he was just wanting to take a look and see what was following him. But, you know, right now, though, that dog is pretty much the, the, the one tense moment for me because when this comes to an end, you don't know what that dog is going to do. Uh, he might try, he might feel threatened, he might try to defend. Uh, he may just be a good dog and sit in the truck and uh, hopefully it'll just, you know, just be taken into custody with that driver. Uh, right now, though, uh, that dog is one of the one of the key elements of this whole chase. It's not a reason why they haven't brought uh, brought this to an end. Uh, that that will not affect this at all. That driver is the reason why this hasn't come to an end. He's just continuing to drive. San Fernando PD has been tri uh, following him. You can see some LAPD there just kind of uh, doing what we were talking about earlier on. They are in the area. They will approach these intersections. They will monitor what's going on and perhaps try to warn the public you know that there may be some danger maybe somebody running a red light and uh, that's that's the interagency uh, uh, workings that we've been seeing this evening uh, we haven't seen them talk about any kind of uh, getting involved or taking it from the San Fernando PD they want they want to bring this San Fernando wants to be the ones that uh, take this person into custody and this is the reason why continuing on southbound Glen Oaks uh, I, I understand we are approaching Van Nuys Boulevard, so getting back into a more uh, a busier area, a lot of residential area uh, apartments, people out here on the streets. It's no by no means traffic, no means busy, but uh, definitely going to get a little bit more crowded. And as he runs those red lights, I just hope everybody's paying attention. Well, you know, Pat, it, that that would that would be an excellent reason uh, for sure. Is it the reason? I don't really know. Uh, every agency has their own uh, type of si uh, situation, how they handle a pursuit. Uh, I have heard it in the past that uh, California Highway Patrol they they bring a supervisor on board. Uh, it, it, it actually in the chase, I've heard that in the past. I don't know if it's uh, that they do it on every chase. Uh, we're just uh, passing Terrabella right now. It's on Glen Oaks, south uh, southbound on Glen Oaks is what they're saying. Uh, but uh, right now we're hearing that there is uh, some uh, other LAPD activity going on in the area that this uh, that this pursuit may be coming up on. So it might might present an interesting situation uh, if if they keep going in that direction. Looks like he has a decision right there. He's turning on Osborne. Uh, so we're going to be <coughs> heading back towards uh, the, the, the freeway, Don't, westbound Osborne from Glen Oaks. So we'll see where he goes. Speed's slowing down a little bit. Dog's along for the ride. Driver maybe have, uh, may have uh, some uh, mental issues right now. Uh, we don't know what they are. Uh, but uh, as, it, as it continues on right now, I, I need to talk to my pilot just real quick.
Laurel, no, Laurel Kent's next major. We're passing the Foothill Division, LAPD. That's Laurel. Looks like he's, yeah, still on Osborne, approaching the five. Looks like we might be getting on the five. <coughs> yep. Yep, five north. We just got on the northbound 5 freeway from Osborne, Pacoima area. Have not seen him on this freeway this evening. Uh, and you can see right now the, the same same car that's been behind him for most of the chase. They did switch it out. Uh, this is a, uh, a different one. Riding in the, uh, in, in the emergency lane there and then kind of getting out. See him kind of weaving. Now he's just kind of riding right through that center gore point. Uh, does look like he is kind of uh, established himself back northbound 5 freeway. Uh, you can see some of the cars in the area uh, just kind of falling back behind this uh, chase. You can see uh, the, the, some of the uh, units right there using their side lights to tell these guys, look, you, don't, you can't pass us. We got something going on. It's your own safety. So they're lighting these guys up, basically telling them, you know, stay behind us. Uh, right now, though, the pickup truck just continues on there. Northbound 5, he's kind of hugging that uh, right lane there, so I know that there's going to be an option for uh, the uh, 118 coming up up here. A lot of traffic on the 118, depending upon which way he goes uh, this evening. But uh, it actually is, I kind of, you know, you now he's doing something really odd, just kind of uh, cutting across there. I think he's going to be taking Terra Bella or Van Eyes. Uh, but yeah, just made like a, a, a sharp turn there, and he's, now he's getting off the 5 freeway, and uh, we'll get you some streets here, but uh, definitely in the uh, Pacoima area right now. And it is Van Nuys Boulevard, so we're going to be going southbound Van Nuys Boulevard is what I just heard. Our later. Back on the freeway. <coughs> well, it looks like he's getting back on the on the five freeway, Arlita area. Uh, so uh, there we go. He just he just got off, got back on. Uh, you know, th if this person has mass officers are are handling this very very well. Uh, they are staying behind the vehicle. They are basically in a in a more of a safety role. Uh, warning the public, being there if something does happen, tragic, and we do hope nothing happens tragic. Uh, right now, though, getting back onto the freeway does seem like he's going just a little bit slower than freeway speeds. Uh, the same uh, same units. This has started in the city of San Fernando. Uh, probably, I'm guessing, we've got to be a, into it about an hour now. Uh, and uh, they have not given it up. Uh, haven't handed off to any other agencies. It would have been California Highway Patrol and or the LAPD. And you know, you, you, 
you guys brought up a really great point is maybe they do know this person. Uh, maybe this is a person that has interaction with their with their law with their agency in the past. Obviously, the uh, sister calling, uh, talking to them. So uh, perhaps that's one of the reasons why they're not giving it up. Looks like we're going to be getting back off the freeway. Uh, don't know if we've uh, I, I didn't count the freeway uh, off ramps, but it may be getting back off at Osborne, and uh, that puts us back in that area where perhaps he might make his way over to that. Um, that uh, DUI checkpoint. So, and if he gets there, that's going to be an interesting situation. So he is getting back off at Osborne uh, right now, though. Looks like he's got that opportunity. We've seen him do uh, illegal moves in the past. So right now, it looks like he just is going to get the green light. Lucky him. And it looks like we're going to be northbound on Osborne, heading back the direction we came from. Uh, you know, uh, staying in his lane. I, you know, I don't know that uh, that 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 that's a tough one. But uh, he's definitely been in the beginning. It was very reckless. Uh, 60 miles an hour, high speeds through residential, very dark residential roads. Uh, there has been a couple of times where uh, he's he's run many a stop sign, many a red light. Uh, he's gotten very close to a couple of pedestrians. Uh, so there there is a little sense of urgency. He has, you know, just something to point out. He has driven by uh, the uh, LAPD Mission Division, and uh, that's their LAPD Mission Division, uh, the headquarters, and now he's going to be the second pass as he's going to drive by the, the LAPD Foothill Division's uh, headquarters. Uh, this is going to be the second time. Eastbound, you can see him speeding up a little bit right now. The lights are off on that, uh, on that uh, Nissan pickup truck, and now look at that. He's really opening it up. And uh, that's that's not a good sign. If he's he got red lights out here, San Fernando Boulevard coming up, uh, something we don't want to see. You can see uh, some of those officers right there. 70 miles an hour is what he got up to in that little short uh, stint. Uh, looks like we're going to be turning on San Fernando. Northbound San Fernando from Osborne. You can see LAPD lights and sirens doing their assisting mode right there. As uh, now driving a little bit slower back on San Fernando Boulevard northbound uh, Pacoima area now, but uh, very soon we'll be back where this started in the city of San Fernando. All right, no problem. All right, and we're still on the web, right? Still on the web? So, all right, all right. I'm gonna turn you guys down a little bit and uh, hey, assignment desk. And uh, Facebook web peeps, uh, hey, thanks for sticking with us. You know what? Uh, the dog probably has more common sense than that driver. Uh, I, you know, we've been talking about it. We've been trying to be as PC as possible about what was going on inside that truck. That dog looked like he wanted to get out of that situation. Those lights and sirens, I mean, anybody who's an animal lover, you're going to know that those lights and sirens are going to be bothering uh, that dog inside that uh, pickup truck. But uh, right now, the driver just continues to drive. Uh, the sister calls in and says, hey, that's my brother. And he's got, sometimes he has mental issues. Uh, you know, what does that mean? It, it, who knows what what more of that story is going on? Is there, uh, is there any kind of backup to uh, what she's saying? Maybe she's just concerned about her brother. I mean, you know, their family, of course, they're going to try to help each other out. Um, right now, though, ba back into the actual city of San Fernando. Uh, San Fernando PD, gosh, these guys got the patience of Jove, I tell you. They, uh, you know, if, if I was that guy, that officer, 
I, I don't know. You know what? You know, I wouldn't want to get fired. Don't get me wrong. I'm not going to push the envelope that far. But uh, there's been so many opportunities where they could just kind of get up, just do that little, little touch and push that they do, and maybe bring this to an end. Uh, they have it. Uh, you know, how much gas has this thing got? I mean, you know, this could be going on longer than we have. Um, we've d done this little tour of the valley. We've been, uh, the, uh, you know, we, we've, we've driven by uh, Mission Division twice we've dri of LAPD. We've driven by the Foothill Division twice. Uh, San Fernando PD, you know, God bless these guys. They are like, no. This is our. This is ours. We're not going to give it up. And uh, you know, I just, I, I just kind of want to know why. Uh, I'll tell you, it, Van Nuys, isn't it? No, Borden. It's uh, Paxton, Paxton, Paxton from, from San Fernando, Paxton from San Fernando. Uh, right there, there's the LAPD. They've been over it pretty much as long as we have. That's nuts. That's not any kind of gloating or anything like that. Uh, we just happened to be, uh, we heard it. They, we, we happened to be in, in the air and closer than they were. They were responding from somewhere else. Those guys always in the air working. We get to hang out on the ground sometimes. Uh, right now, though, on Paxton, uh, San Fernando PD, like I said, they, they're not giving this thing up. They don't want to give this thing up. It uh, looks like we're going to be getting back on a freeway. This time we're getting on the 210. Um, whipping around there, doing a little bit of an S-turn there. It's a Nissan. I, I you know, I, I heard earlier on we, there was some confusion about it being a Toyota. I, I, I didn't call it a Toyota. Um, but uh, anyway, it, it, it's, it's a Nissan. I know that uh, some, some of the guys out there are very, uh, very uh, loyal to their brand. Uh, I will, we are actually on the 118 approaching the 210. That's my bad. I'm looking out the window right now. We're going to be westbound 210 freeway, westbound 210 freeway from the 118. And that was for my buddy Flood that's in the booth. Yes, that's his last name. Super cool guy. Uh, I wish you guys could hear him as well. Uh, always with, with the information you need when you need it and always correct and calm. This guy, awesome. Awesome news, dude. Uh, right now, looks like we're going to be getting onto the westbound 210 freeway. San Fernando, uh, city of San Fernando PD. Um, love these guys. Uh, they have just uh, been, they've just been in there on it and staying with it the entire time. Uh, basically, Silmar is the area that we're going to be in right now. Uh, We've seen him in this area earlier, uh, but uh, what he does, where he goes, uh, you know, maybe the dog's making the decisions in there. I, I don't know. Looks like we're getting back into the emergency lane, and then the, now he's got his hazards on. Uh, you know, if, if this is the, uh, I, I don't know what this guy's doing in there. Uh, but, you know, if he would just pull over, come to a stop, uh, maybe secure the dog in the vehicle, I would be really, really happy. Uh, right now, though, looks like uh, we might be getting off the freeway. McClay, you guys read it, same as I did. Uh, yeah, I know Polk is up here as well. That's the next one, I think. But it looks like maybe we'll see. <clears throat> uh, there we go, crossing that gore coin. We're taking McClay. <clears throat> the answer, everybody, was McClay. Um, you know, he, he, he does have some sort of luck, i got to say that. There's a lot of construction going on on the freeways uh, this evening. There's a lot of traffic and stop traffic out there. Uh, we're uh, on McClay. Looks like we're going to be eastbound. Sil and Silmar. This is going to be Glen Oaks. Looks like we're going to be taking Glen Oaks. Northbound Glen Oaks. What? Eastbound? No, northbound Glen Oaks. And if it makes any difference, uh, this is kind of the area where we picked it up, but this isn't the area where this chase started. Um, so 70 miles an hour, now he's getting up those speeds again. Oh. 
Well, we are uh, over the Silmar area right now. Uh, is, he's on Glendale, uh, San Fernando. I, I, I think we're in uh, the uh, Silmar area. I think was we're in the Silmar area right now. Uh, on, uh, on. Uh, sorry about that. Approaching Hubbard right now. Uh, you can see San Fernando PD, city of San Fernando PD, still in pursuit. We we got a spot there where he was going 70 miles an hour. Uh, eastbound Hubbard from Glen Oaks. It uh, looks like we're getting back onto the freeway. He has been playing this, uh, going one way on the freeway, getting off, back, uh, getting back on. 210 freeway, that's the, re the direction we're going. East, uh, freeway, we're go it, 210 freeway, eastbound's our direction. Uh, don't know what's going on inside that truck. I'm kind of sometimes wondering, maybe the dog is making the decisions, because uh, he is just basically getting on, getting off, on these roads, speeding up, slowing down. We saw the hazard lights come on in the meantime. We saw him get into the emergency, uh, into the emergency lane, riding that emergency lane for a little bit. Uh, now, going a little bit slower. Uh, as he gets onto the freeway, now he's basically doing the 30-something uh, mile an hour, uh, when earlier on he was on the, on the roads doing 70. Uh, we do know that possibly, possibly the driver has some sort of mental issues. Uh, that uh, was the information that was passed along to us that maybe a family member had called San Fernando PD to give them the heads up that, hey, that's my brother, and, uh, you know, he might not be in the right state of mind. San Fernando PD, they have been very patient with this. Uh, they have been behind it for probably a good solid hour, maybe even a little bit more. Uh, the, the chase has gone high speed, slow speed. They've been right behind it the entire time. A number of their officers, now that's probably because they don't know how this is going to end, and they, may, they might need help at the end, and that's the reason why these extra officers are there. Uh, LAPD, they've been the ones providing that light that we see on there. Uh, they, the helicopter that was overhead had to leave for fuel, been replaced by another LAPD helicopter. You can see by the sign, he's going to be taking the westbound 118. Now, uh, that's an interesting, that might be the uh, factor that may bring this to an end. There's some construction going on on the 118. I do know that there's a lot of stopped vehicles, a lot of bottleneck as it comes down to one lane over by the 405. If it makes it that far, I don't know. City of Pacoima, that's our locator right now, transitioning from the 210 to the 118 freeway. Oh, he has been very, very lucky with traffic in all his situations. Now, is that luck or is that uh, the, the doing of uh, California Highway Patrol and other uh, law enforcement agencies? This is what we were talking about earlier on, riding that uh, emergency lane. That's what he's doing right there. Um, <clears throat> And, uh, and we're coming up to board, and that's going to be the next off-ramp right there. Looks like we are taking board, uh, Glen Oaks, Glen Oaks Boulevard. Glen Oaks Boulevard getting off the freeway. Uh, we do know that California Highway Patrol was slowing or actually blocking some of the on-ramps when he was on the 405 earlier. We've seen LAPD at some of these intersections when he's on the streets earlier blocking traffic. So that might be one of the reasons for the lighter traffic. But then again, it just could be just plain old luck. Get, getting back out uh, off the freeway, back onto Glen Oaks right now. You can see uh, we just got off the 118 freeway, so maybe he's going to be taking streets back over there. But it looks like he's just going to drive this pickup truck until it just runs out of gas. Uh, don't know when that's going to be. Right now, riding in the bike lane, uh, he seems to be hugging that right side a lot. But uh, reason, I, I couldn't even begin to tell you. Oh, most definitely, we are established back into the city of San Fernando. So this is their jurisdiction. Uh, right now, 
Arroyo is going to be the next cross. We're northbound Glen Oaks. And you can see it's a red light right there, but the cars with the green light all stopping. And that's hopefully because they're seeing the uh, lights and sirens and, and being aware of what's happening. And that's the reason why they're staying behind it. They warn the public. If you would have ran that red light and somebody wasn't paying attention, this might have come to an end in a, in a way that we would not like to see. Uh, Arroyo, definitely a, a street that's a little bit more industrial, especially uh, in the area that we're in right now, right off of uh, Glen Oaks. But uh, this pursuit continues. Wow, guys, if you're on the Internet, uh, you know, I, I just got to say, <coughs> this is just going and going and going. Uh, you know, nothing nothing crazy uh, about it. About it. Uh, I don't want to make, make any kind of fun of anybody's mental issues at all, and, and I'm being very serious about that. Um, it just goes and goes and goes. Now, I can tell you, the helicopter, uh, my pilot, Timmy, giving updates uh, almost to the minute, uh, coming at me with uh, 19 minutes, 18 minutes, 17 minutes. Uh, I'm just playing about that. I'm just kind of making some fun. But we're about 25 minutes worth of fuel. You can see that I just made a little maneuver right there, getting around a, a parked uh, 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 mobile home. Uh, this, guy, this, this guy just continues to go. Uh, the dog just along for the ride. Uh, northbound on Foothill from Arroyo. Uh, picking up some higher speeds right there. Driver looks to be a guy. Dog looks to be German Shepherd. Truck, definitely a Nissan. Uh, and uh, the officers that are chasing him, definitely uh, San Fernando PD. You can see that the speeds are starting to pick up a little bit just by how these cars are driving. Uh, right now, though, that pickup truck with that driver, uh, you, just, you just want it to come to an end before something bad happens. Uh, he's gotten really, really lucky with traffic. Uh, I got to say that. Uh, if you would have stayed on the 118, I can tell you there was something going on. I don't know if it's uh, road construction, street sweepers, uh, traffic accident, but there's a lot of stop traffic on the 118 right by the 405. Uh, he did. He got off on board. Maybe he saw the stop red lights. I don't know. Uh, right now, though, weaving around some cars. Uh, little, uh, the streets are a little darker. They uh, getting a little bit narrower, but uh, this guy has been, you know, he hasn't been that reckless. So it just keeps going. We keep watching. Uh, San Fernando PD keeps chasing, and the helicopter that's going to be LAPD keeps calling out those streets. And uh, we are going to stick with it as long as our desk allows it. And uh, I'm kind of hopeful it happens, uh, it comes to an end before we're going to have to land for fuel. But uh, you just don't know, and uh, it's been it's been interesting in a way that he's driven by two uh, uh, LAPD headquarters uh, the, for the uh, for the uh, Foothill Division for Mission Division. We've seen some uh, some uh, traffic cameras, those red light cameras. I didn't even know we still had them uh, going off on Sepulveda Boulevard earlier on. And actually, kind of those flashes were it was interesting. The guy was uh, was uh, was kind of shocked by that. I uh, thought he was flipping us off, but he's not. Looks like he was uh, just checking to see if the roof's still there. I uh, don't know what's going on inside that truck. I, I really would love to know uh, yeah, what's going on in there. But uh, the chase continues. Uh, approaching fair. That's uh, in the city of San Fernando. I think we might actually be back in the Silmar. Uh, but it does seem like he's starting to stick to an area and starting to make these uh, big, big looping uh, looping mo motions. Uh, hopefully it's uh, going to kind of swirl down into an end somewhere. But uh, right now we're continuing on. City of San Fernando PD, gosh bless these guys. They are uh, solid. That's what I can say about them. Solid and serious. Uh, they are uh, just right behind them. They've been behind them all the time. We just passed Astoria. If you know the area, if you don't, uh, this is a residential neighborhood. Uh, it's a uh, actually for for California, especially for the San Fernando Valley area. Uh, this is would almost be considered rural. There's uh, some still some uh, areas out here that have horses and uh, some larger animals and some 
what I would call rural property. Some people still doing some farming out here. But uh, it, mixed in all that is going to be apartment buildings. Um, it looked like he was coming to a stop there. I was getting a little hopeful. Maybe he was stalling out the clutch. I don't even know if it's a stick. Uh, or maybe he was running out of gas. But uh, definitely looked like something was going on there. And now, we're, yeah, the, dog, the dog's going for the break. Um, <clears throat> but it's uh, continuing on now. I'm venturing to guess that we're on Foothill, uh, not uh, not Glen Oaks. The Glen Oaks was, if you were listening earlier on uh, on, on two when we were on live on television, I got I got stuck on Glen Oaks. I I, I could it wouldn't come to me. Uh, and uh, northbound through Tyler, uh, I think this is going to be Glen Oaks, even though somebody just said Foothill. But uh, it, it just it just goes and goes and goes. Uh, that dog, it, it, you know what, I'm looking at the map, our, our moving map, our fancy moving map, uh, and uh, it, it, actually they are on Foothill. Foothill is going to make a turn up here pretty sh soon uh, as it's kind of blocked in by the 210 freeway. Um, Stevenson Ranch Park, uh, Stetson, Stetson Ranch Park is what's coming up. Uh, you got other cars on the road. He seems to really favor that right side. Don't know why, uh, but he definitely does. Big turn coming up uh, here in a minute, and it, it kind of shows you. I mean, if uh, I'm talking about a big turn, that's that that that's the exciting stuff that's coming up. So uh, this chase continuing out here, San Fernando PD, uh, man and his dog in a pickup truck, and possibly, possibly, uh, the driver has uh, some uh, mental issues. Uh, what? How many? Ten. And we're counting down, we're counting down to ten minutes. Oh, yeah, we won't. He's not going to go that way. He's going to stay on the streets. I just wish the thing would... Oh, okay. All right. All right. Yeah. So, uh, i got to make a call to our assignment desk, you know, make sure that they all just don't go off to... Uh, it's Friday night, you know, I, so I, I mean, they're all going to probably go off and grab a drink and be like, hey, whatever happened to Stu in that pursuit? Uh, I'm going to check in with them, and I'll get back to you guys in just a minute. Nine Hotel, Simon Desk on one. Uh, they are. And I just got letting you guys know, uh, we got about 20 minutes of fuel on board. 20 minutes of fuel on board, and uh, I, I don't, I don't know if you guys want us to land fuel and continue, but uh, I don't. The way it's been going, I don't think this is going to be over in 20 minutes. Copy all. Copy all. Yep. <clears throat> so, you guys can't hear the other end of that conversation. And if you're new to uh, this, this type of situation where, you know, you're listening to this guy report, and uh, this is the first time you're you're listening. You know what? First of all, thank you for joining us. Uh, we always appreciate uh, new blood, new comments, good or bad. We always love to read them. And, uh, and and right now I'm in a situation where I can't. Sometimes I can get interactive. Uh, this is kind of sort of uh, behind the scenes uh, when we do our live stuff, especially right now when it's exclusively for uh, the internet. Uh, when I say behind the scenes, I, it is because. Uh, I have other radios going on. I'm not reporting. I am reporting, but I've actually got other things going on. So that's the reason why you'll hear me just kind of like trail off into nothing and then start other conversations. Uh, yes, there are voices in my head. They are, but they actually are people, and they're coming through a headset. So just be a little wary of that. Uh, this chase, though, you know, we can poke a little fun at it sometimes. We're always hopeful that it's just going to end. Uh, in a in a way where nobody gets hurt. <coughs> this time, hey, now that 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 that's a little interesting. Uh, you know, we are on the internet. Uh, I can tell you that um, they are they are throwing out the pit word. Uh, they are throwing out the pit word right now. I don't know uh, how they're planning on doing it. Uh, they're talking about uh, they're talking about uh, possibly letting letting uh, California Highway Patrol join in, and uh, maybe they might be doing it. I'm not giving away any secrets. I, I would I'd venture to say that the dog is not uh, watching us on the internet right now and telling his master what's going on. Uh, so that that's kind of what we're hearing right now. Is it going to happen? 
I don't know. We've been listening to a lot of things. They've been trying to set up a lot of things that just have not come together tonight. Uh, this driver just continues to drive. The dog continues to just hang out in the passenger seat, as he should. Uh, it looks like we did get off the freeway. I wasn't counting the off ramps. Might be Polk. Uh, let me take a look and see what's at the end of the road there, and then I can I might know where we are. Uh, no, I don't think this is Polk. Uh, but we are on the freeway, and it isn't an off-ramp. He's just driving a little bit slower. Uh, and uh, you see the number of officers from uh, San Fernando PD. Okay, we're just passing Sayer. Just passing Sayer on the 210 kind of hugging that emergency lane right there. Uh, you can see San Fernando PD there right behind that car. It, that would have been, the, you know, the, our, my pilot Tim is, uh, is is talking with me as well and just making comments like a lot of people are probably, I'm sure. Uh, they, they, you know what, There's a, that, that, is, that is an attractive sight right there. Love that. Uh, anyways, uh, and, <coughs> and, uh, California Highway Patrol, they're in the area, and uh, they are just kind of uh, tagging along, offering assistance. Don't know uh, if, if it's been accepted or not. Uh, we're not privy to that. But um, uh, they're, they're, they, they're talking about it again. Let me see. Let me, you see a... Uh, you see an, uh, a other, uh, there they are. That's them. There we go. They're going to be handing this off to the California Highway Patrol. Uh, so that's uh, that's the situation that we're seeing right there. That's going to be some of the uh, California Highway Patrol. They're going to be passing our good friends at the uh, San Fernando PD that have just been so patient following this vehicle all evening. Now, are they just going to jump in there and bring this thing to an end? I don't know. And uh, looks like uh, looks like they're going to uh, they are going to move around safely, and uh, they're going to the CHP is going to get behind them, and this may be coming to an end. Uh, you guys listening on the web? That's that's the information I wanted to pass along to you. I wasn't sure if you were listening. All right. So, uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. Uh, it, it would bring, it would definitely bring this to an end. What happens after it comes to an end? Uh, you know, the dog, it does worry me. Uh, the uh, driver, of course, it worries me as well. Uh, right now, though, we have no, uh, no, no reason to believe uh, that uh, that he has any kind of weapons or anything like that. Uh, you can see the California Highway Patrol right there. Uh, this is the first time we've seen them uh, get in that position. Uh, and uh, th they are now taking over the pursuit. It is, uh, it is definitely official. And uh, you can see that they are keeping, uh, keeping a distance. And uh, now he's chose to get off the freeway. But that doesn't mean they're not going to take advantage of the situation. So we're going to keep an eye on it best we can. Looks like uh, if I had to guess, I'd say this is going to be Van Nuys Boulevard. That's going to where, where he's going to get dumped off onto. And uh, you know, wide open area, no other cars around. Looks like uh, all that uh, all that talk was for nothing. Uh, and uh, they're just going to keep following this vehicle. Uh, right now, though, it's Van Nuys Boulevard. I'm pretty sure about that. Coming back up onto Foothill, driving really slow, running a red light and uh, just continues on. California Highway Patrol, now the ones right behind it. Yes, if we had to. Yeah, hang on. The reason why I'm kind of pausing right now is I'm just listening in. This is an interesting, just uh, for the pro you know, for as far as chases go. Uh, the 
Yeah, there's some discussion now because he got off the freeway. If they're just going to, if uh, they're going to hand it back over to S San Fernando PD. So it's uh, it's just one of those things where we're just going to keep uh, keep watching, see what happens. That's the reason why I don't like to uh, pass along everything I hear because a lot of times, you know, it's a lot of talk and then they things change and. Uh, Westbound Paxton is where we are. And uh, they're just talking about right now, they're just kind of having a lot of crosstalk about who's going to do what and if they're going to hand it back over or they're going to stay with it as if it gets back onto the freeway. There's an opportunity to get back onto the freeway. There's LAPD in the shot. I always like those shots. Um, I think if he keeps up this way, Westbound Paxton through Glen Oaks. I, I think he has an opportunity to get back onto the freeway. That's the reason why I keep uh, going wide. There you go. That would have been an on-ramp right there. So staying away from the uh, freeways right now, driving a lot slower. Uh, this would be the spot to do it, but uh, I guess uh, they're just going to keep following him. And uh, there's discussion now that they might give it back to San Fernando PD. Yeah, I don't think they're going to let us fuel and pop back up. All right, making that U-turn. <clears throat> now I'm hearing some information that uh, the reason why they haven't pitted him is they were uh, they were looking for more California Highway Patrol units to be behind him. Uh, they 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 needed another vehicle. Uh, CHP is going to stay behind him right now, and uh, looks like we just made a big U-turn, and we're going to be going uh, northbound on Paxton, and it's just going to continue on. He's got that opportunity to get on the freeway. He hasn't used it before when it was like just a, a sorry, eastbound Paxton coming up to Glen Oaks. Uh, basically, we'll just keep an eye on it. It's my guess, by, because I'm just guessing. Going to get back onto the 210. When he gets up over there, because there's going to that same on ramp, he's going to do that same deal that he's been doing. Maybe he's going to take Glen Oaks, or maybe he's going to take Foothill. But uh, seems to be just uh, look. You got a little, got a little, uh, little traffic right there. Another solid red. Looks like this. Oh, there you go, making a turn. We're going to be on Glen Oaks. Going to be on Glen Oaks now. Glen Oaks and Osborne. There is a DUI checkpoint. Uh, Hey, can you look, Tim, can you look up ahead? Uh, just kind of follow up ahead. Is there a DUI checkpoint up there? Because I heard them talking about Glen Oaks and Osborne. Glen Oaks and Osborne, there was a... All right. Now he's doing that uh, hugging the right shoulder again. Uh, he's been doing that for a lot of the, uh, lot of the driving this evening. And uh, CHP right behind him. There he goes. Getting back over. It uh, looks like uh, California Highway Patrol has three units behind them right now. And uh, LAPD got one helicopter. We got uh, one bad guy in a uh, green Nissan. And one appears to be German Shepherd in the uh, passenger seat. So <coughs> don't, don't, know, uh, don't know where it's going to go or how it's going to get there. But it's been going on for quite some time. And uh, just want to see this thing come to an end, probably like everybody else does. I, I feel for everybody that's going to be in the same position I am here in a few minutes when we actually are s like super bingo and we need to return to uh, Van Nuys for fuel. And, you know, we just won't see how this thing comes to an end. It's, 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 it is what it is. There you go. So westbound Van Nuys from Glen Oaks. <coughs> Slow speeds, uh, California Iowa Patrol, now the ones right behind him. 
uh, they could uh, they could bring this thing to an end, or they could just kind of follow it, or they could do this thing right now. We'll see. Uh, we don't really know, but it uh, looks like they're getting very close. And uh, yeah, that uh, this officer determined to bring this thing to an end, uh, much like me and all the viewers, I'm sure. Uh, that pickup truck really starting to pick up some speed right there, not wanting to uh, get that uh, that just little kiss and a nudge. And um, but uh, we're going to keep an eye on it. He's going to slow down when he comes to these intersections, and we'll, we'll see what happens. Making a turn here, I think this is going to be uh, Laurel Canyon. Not 100% on that. No, it's too too tight. Northbound Paula. neighborhood just because of all the other vehicles that are in the area also you can see it's pretty dark in here uh, gonna keep an eye on it though but yeah that was the, that was the most action I've seen in a while uh, and <laughs> yeah, don't don't pass that along and uh, <clears throat> but uh, they won't they won't do it on a street like this I can almost guarantee it to you it's gonna be too tight it's gonna be too dangerous uh, and also in, in the least of their concerns but definitely a concern is going to be uh, is going to be property. Uh, he was on Paula uh, from uh, Mercer for a while there. He just made another turn. We're going to probably get that street as soon as California Highway Patrol <coughs> westbound Judd from Ralston. Looks like looks like he's in a uh, in an alleyway right now. Westbound Judge from Ralston uh, alleyway right there. Let's take a look and see. Uh, he's got plenty of uh, plenty of options here. Getting back out onto a, onto a main street or residential street, bigger than an alleyway. Yep. <laughs> Just watching the, 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 the row of cars uh, following the uh, police cars and, uh, and other vehicles that are in the neighborhood. Very dangerous uh, situation, for sure. The uh, officers do not appreciate uh, these uh, other people that are just kind of t trailing behind. And I know uh, from being a stringer, from just talking to a stringer uh, recently that got nailed for that, uh, they will ticket you uh, for following a pursuit if the uh, officer feels the need. So just something to give you guys heads up for if you are uh, listening or following in that uh, group that is following this chase right now. Residential neighborhood, slower speeds. Uh, yep, eastbound Fillmore. Uh, you can see some cro possible cross traffic up here. Don't know what it is. Uh, it's officers. It's going to be officers. That's what the cross traffic is. Uh, northbound here, you can see that officer actually backing up. Uh, LAPD officer making sure that uh, he's yeah, that that suspect has plenty of room. Uh, Herrick is the street that he's on right now from Fillmore. Herrick and uh, just continues to go and go and go. I'm going to get on one of those wide shots again real quick. <laughs> you, got, you got the LAPD helicopter, you got the suspect, you got California Highway Patrol, and it probably blends into San Fernando PD. As we pass uh, out to San Fernando PD, I have a feeling that we're going to see some LAPD. And then you've got this going on. Uh, these are uh, just uh, people that are trailing behind, kind of interested in what's going on. Uh, if you guys are listening, I'm just letting you know, uh, if the officers are in a bad mood, you can definitely get a ticket for that. Uh, getting back to the chase itself, making the turn, basically Paxton, back on to Paxton. But it's a wider street, and uh, we know what that means. So we see what happens here. California Highway Patrol, that one guy, he wants to do this, and I want him to do it. And I'm sure everybody watching wants to see this thing come to an end as well. Uh, though that driver does seem to be a little aware of what's going on. A bright light inside the truck all of a sudden. Don't know if that's from the truck or possibly from behind. I guess it's, it's from the truck. Um, but uh, keeping an eye on it. Here, get, coming up, coming up, coming up. And, and driving in, speeding in. Come on. Come on, pit a meow, and, and no, it's not going to happen, I can tell you, he's going too fast, he's going too fast, <coughs> too fast and there's too many parked cars, 
Eastbound Paxton through Borden is where we are right now. Uh, looking out the window, I would guess we are Pacoima, because my map has a big Pacoima right underneath our helicopter. So uh, that's where we are. And uh, the chase continues. We're uh, getting very, very low on fuel. Tim is uh, doing all those miracle tricks that uh, trained pilots do, using less power, uh, just uh, keeping the helicopter moving, not pulling us into a hover. But uh, hang on. And now my desk is calling me. Hey, Mark, what's up? Uh, we got about two minutes of fuel, two minutes of fuel. Now, how do we know they're hoodlums? Are, are you calling Stringer's hoodlums? We got that shot. We got that shot a bunch of times, especially when he was in the neighborhood. I, I'm, I'm, I'm kind of sad that you guys didn't, didn't see it. No, no. And I actually gave a shout out and told him that uh, if uh, you know if the officer's in a bad mood, you'll get a ticket for it. The AMG guy or AMG guy got uh, got nailed for that. Um, their CHP is taking over 100%. They're telling the uh, San Fernando PD to back off completely, and it looks like something's going on again. But uh, the driver is is is. Uh, he, He's aware of what's going on. How many other helicopters are still here? All right. Um, yeah, well, you know, the dog's probably letting him know what's going on. He's actually poking his head out the rear window. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> I just want just. Uh, so uh, I'm just reconfirming, double checking, triple checking, uh, fuel, no fuel. <coughs> we could put like 30 minutes worth of fuel in and get back up real quick. We're, uh, we're, we're, we're digging through the change in the ashtray right now and just, you know, we'll just give them what we got and then uh, just a couple gallons and just get back up. how close we are to the freeway. That is going to be Foothill. Well, it's going to be Foothill. I'll get you across street here in a minute. I'm sorry, but there, we're on Foothill right now. And I know we're approaching McClay if we haven't passed it already. I think we passed it. Approaching Hubbard. Why does he slow down? Why does he always put on the brakes? Why is he... Well, Stu, well, other Stu, the reason why is because he's a trained professional and you're just a guy watching it in a helicopter. That's why he's doing that. <laughs> you're right. uh, we want to see this thing come to an end. We definitely want to know what happens to the dog and... Uh, but uh, it's it's probably not going to happen in the time that we have. It's just uh, you know not and anybody that's going to be writing about negative energy and I need to be more positive. I I, I know the score. I've been me for a long time. So, anyways, <coughs> all right. My pilot says we probably we're going to stretch it to one more attempt and see if he makes it happen, and then we'll take it from there. But. Uh, Yep, that guy and his dog just continues to uh, drive along out here, Foothill Boulevard, and uh, officers from the California Highway Patrol uh, now in trail. Uh, we've seen a couple of uh, attempts to bring this to an end by uh, doing that uh, pit maneuver, and that's pit, P-I-T, Pursuit Intervention Tactic.
and uh, could be many different things in this case. It is actually the bumping, uh, touching of the rear bumper and spinning the car around, or the, in this case the pickup truck, but uh, this continues to go and go and go, and uh, the driver seems to be aware and capable enough to understand that a pit may be happening, and, uh, and he it seems to be able to do stuff to avoid that from happening. So, uh, you know, if he has mental health issues, we'll see what that is later on when it all comes out in the wash. Yes, I am tired. <laughs> I know, I know. All right. Yeah, we're getting to that uh, that point where that's at that point, and uh, we're gonna have to leave. It's not. Yes, it's uh, physical reasons. That's 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 what I always use. How many times have I said that? Huh? Um, just double triple checking. We are get we're, we're getting we're getting fuel and coming right back, right? <coughs> All right. <coughs> hey, look, 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 look. Yes, yes. Oh, come on. Oh, come on. Go back, go back, go back. Can we go back? We can go back. We can, we can go back, can't we? Are you kidding me? We can't do a quick turn because it'll be over by then. Come on, he just tweeted him. And the dog is moving around quite a bit. Yeah, yeah it, it, you know, I, the dog is, the dog's been in there for quite a bit, if you know yeah. what I mean. And, you know, yeah, maybe he's getting a little fidgety. Yeah. Maybe he's agitated. Yeah. With his owner, but that—that uh, that is the big wild card in this, guys. I, I, we keep saying it, but the big wild card is how is this dog going to act when officers actually deploy on on the suspect, take him custody? How protective will he be? Here comes the pit, oh, really is. hard in, almost whoa, parallels whoa. him, disengages. Got there him. it is, wow. right there. there. It is. Spins him around. Usually, when it goes backwards like that, it um, it disengages the vehicle. But we're going to try okay. to get this tree out of the way. He's backing up here. And uh, this is what we're talking about. We'll see right. exactly what happens mm -hmm. here. We really hope that, that the dog doesn't get shot, for, for one thing. And that does, you know, that is something that officers, uh, uh, that, do, that is something that happens when uh, a strange dog comes out and uh, they have a split second and it might be charging at them or running at them and they can't tell if the dog is being friendly or yeah. what. And uh, sometimes shots end up being fired at a dog. But it is now, the pit maneuver has been employed. Where's where is this now? Uh, we're going to give you that just right now. We turned off sky maps for this. This is on Foothill Boulevard in oh. Somar. Car still rolling. Oh boy, uh -oh. that's not good. So that's it might be good. just in neutral. Officers are talking to the suspect, trying to get him out of the vehicle. They don't necessarily want to go into the vehicle because of the dog. So, Rob, if you can give me the cross on Foothill Boulevard because I don't have my sky map on up here because I want to make sure it's clean. So where Polk and Foothill is right where this happened. LAPD's Foothill Foothill Division area. And they're pushing a little tighter there, Rob. And Giving him commands, trying to get the dog still looks kind of agitated, wondering what's going on. The suspect driver's still in there. Now now we're in a standoff situation. It, uh, a supervisor there asking some of his officers to back off. Dog just came out. He ran out the street. We'll widen out to show you that. Oh, there goes wow. the dog running down the street. Okay. So hopefully they'll be able to corral him up. Yeah. Uh, does he have the potential to drive forward and, and, and try to get away at this point? Is, or is he blocked in? That would be a really bad idea. Well, yeah, yeah that would absolutely be about okay. He's out, He's hands out. are up, okay. dog's hands at up. his side, which is uh, going to be interesting. The dog ran back into the frame. Uh, the man with the jacket on, blue hat, dog at his side. So it will be interesting dog. to see here how protected the dog is. Hands are up. He's looking for the dog. Oh not really complying. So we're going to come a little bit the this way. The dog looks scared. The, the dog the is really agitated and looks scared. He's yeah, running yeah. around. Uh, the suspect now, see, he's not... Very the, the level of compliance here is hard to tell. Yeah, you we're know, maneuvering got, for a better spot here, yeah. Mark. Okay, there we go. And he's he's got his hands up. The dog is right next to him, as a German Shepherd will do. They're extremely loyal. 
They're very protective. Mm. Yeah, this, this is interesting. This is a, yeah. Now, they may use something like a less lethal, uh, maybe a bean bag if they've got one. Uh, hopefully, I mean, this could be a graphic situation. Obviously, if children are up or watching, we don't want that, them to be watching this on the web. But Dog is sitting it's at his sick. side, obedient, protecting his uh, owner. This is uh, an interesting situation here. You can see, uh, I'm not really sure what they're going to do here. Pro try to get something to... Uh, to maybe, uh, to, uh, again, less lethal, maybe try to call him over. But uh, now officers are not going to, okay, they do have an officer that he went around the backside of him, hooked him up. Dog seems to be okay. He doesn't Dog's seem okay, to be attacking them. But He's going to call know. him over. And uh, that's, that's really good news. So yeah, if the suspect starts to fight, that might be a, a, a separate situation. That. It's the really dog's agitated. Scared. The there. dog is just scared. Yeah, just really yeah. frightened and uh, trying to, you know, it, it's agitated. His owner's right there. He doesn't know what to do. Um, but clearly, he's not threatening anybody. Look at him; his tail's wagging a little bit. Yeah. And uh, they're going to try to look. The, the CHP officer has him by the collar, and oh, the suspect's oh, no. fighting. The dog's biting. Suspect's now, fighting. The suspect started getting agitated. Oh boy. oh boy! The dog started nipping. We saw that. He's trying to protect his owner. Backed off for a second. I did see the dog mm. bite a little bit, but. Uh, the suspect not going with the program. Now they're going to what's called the swarm technique. You mentioned it earlier. Are every officer taking a limb, one sticking a leg, trying to get the, the, the guy's hands behind his back. So a lot of the times the, the guys will be fine until they, they put the hand, go to put the handcuffs on them and then the fight's on. So that's what you're seeing here. The fight is on. Uh, it's taking four or five officers and the dog is an extreme distraction here. They're having to swarm the dog essentially too. Yeah. And uh, that is that takes a, a, a quite a bit of courage, frankly, on the part of that CHP officer to grab that dog because a German Shepherd, the bite of a German Shepherd is yes. no joke. Uh, there's a reason they are used as guard and police dogs uh, because they are able to inflict a very, very severe bite. This dog, though, is just you can see how scared he is. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. And how he wants to go to the aid of his uh, his owner, and he's he's just freaked out. The owner himself. Fighting with police, perhaps some um, uh, you know some mental uh, health issue is involved yes. here. Um, you know, we were getting hints that that might have been involved, and that might have been part of this process and part of the problem as they were dealing with this pursuit. He is on the ground. They've swarmed him. They've got him in custody. He is cuffed. Uh, they're going to have to call animal control after that really beautiful German Shepherd. Yeah, you were hoping that since the officers, uh, especially San Fernando PD, were in contact with the family, maybe they'll come out and take custody of the dog so he doesn't wind up in, in custody. But um, there, there's the suspect. They're telling him they give him a good pat on the shoulder, like, okay, it was you put up a good fight, but you're in custody now. It's over. <clears throat> CHP showing a lot of constraint, a lot of professionalism, both with the suspect and with the dog. So excellent job that no one was injured, either the suspect, the officers, the dog, any citizens that we know of, no reports of an injury. This couldn't have ended any better for the CHP and the San Fernando Police Department. Yeah. Officers did a great oh. job. Oh, no, there goes the dog. Yeah, now we've got a dog oh, pursuit. Boy. A, dog a lot of pursuit, media right? out here, uh, a lot of uh, what we call oh, stringers, oh, uh, independent dog. cameras out here. It looks like the uh, they probably run back around uh, to the uh, to his owner. As long, uh, we'll see if that happens. Yeah, well, oh. he's, yeah. Now we've got a whole different situation here. We're gonna, uh, we're gonna pull out. They're, I think they're keeping the. Uh, oh, he oh, he's back in the, the truck. Yeah, he's back oh. in the car. Well, that's that's actually not a bad thing. Yeah. They can close let the door. Him, let him hang out in there. Yeah. Keep the dog in there. He knew the car, and and, and hopefully we'll wait for the, uh, put the, put the oh. uh, the owner's family to come and maybe take him into custody. But they're gonna keep him contained in there, as the suspects put into a CHP vehicle. They may even. Um, May even take him to San Fernando PD and let them do the booking. Sometimes that'll happen if they're still in the area. Uh, but uh, it's it's over and a lot of people out. Look at all the people out. I mean, this has been going through these neighborhoods in and around Somar, Pacoima area. You can see everybody's out here wanting to see how this ends. A lot of ground cameras, a lot of people wanting to know exactly how this ends. And then obviously all our viewing audience watching on, on the net and on our app uh, got to follow along with us here. Well, it's good to see this finally come to an end and uh, see it come to an end without anyone getting hurt. And the dog's okay. And, uh, boy, the officers just did a great job, as did you, JT. Thanks so much for your coverage. And uh, we're going to leave this now. Thank you all for joining us here on ABC7.com and on Facebook. And uh, we hope you'll join us tomorrow for Eyewitness News beginning at 5 a.m. Of course, we'll have all the latest on Hurricane Irma. Well...
We're not getting fuel and going back. Oh, we're not gonna get a fuel aid. You know, that was beyond ugh. And uh, <laughs> my silence is, uh, <laughs> I think speaks volumes. I'm uh, beyond frustrated. Anyways, we're, uh, we're on our way back to Van Nuys. I'll say goodnight to my friends. Uh, and now all my enemies, uh, probably not my enemies, they, they saw what happened here, but uh, anyways, uh, we're going to say goodnight, and then uh, we're going to leave, go home, and cry in our beers. <coughs> Facebook and uh, Internet, i just letting you guys know that, uh, it, 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 you know, I, I, just being honest, as frustrating as it is, frustrating as it was, uh, Timmy, my pilot, doing what he has to do. Uh, you know, this is this is a helicopter, and as much as I would want to see that, I mean, I've said it a hundred times before. I'm that news guy. I would be the guy that died with the ca camera in my hand, getting that shot. But I don't want Tim to get in trouble. I don't want him to lose his license. And uh, so this is what has to be done. This is how it how it's going down tonight. We do know that the pit did happen and that the car did stop. I'm hopeful that the dog is okay. And we're gonna be landing at uh, Van Nuys here shortly. Good night, everybody. Thanks for sticking it out. If you're local, it's the next day. Good morning. And if you're not, I don't know where you're at, but uh, thank you for watching us. Good night, everybody.